everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm showing you my sweater of the day. This is another one that's from the 70s. This one I like a lot better. The sleeves are a lot looser, except they're a little long on me, so I fold them over. But the young kids like to have their sleeve way down on their palms. In fact, they cut them. They cut a have hole, a hole in it. cut in them for the thumb to stick out. I don't care crazy. for that. I, I need my hands free to do whatever I do. Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was a day where Emily came and why did Emily come? She's always got something that she wants to do. Well, she needed help. She needed to make tarot cards uh, that were Harry Potter tarot cards and she wanted to crop them and then set them up on a grid and she needed Jim to help her do the grid because she's good with the computer but he's even better. So I helped her she contacted the paper at the back, and then we cut them out on my cutter that's a slicer for cards and things that you would use. I, don't, I didn't bring that in. But I did bring in two of the pages that they did because the, compu the printer instructions were set wrong. They were set double-sided, and she didn't want them double-sided. So this is what we were making. We were, she was making these tarot cards. We cut them out. She put contact paper on the back and then we laminated it and then she, we, well actually we cut it out mm -hmm. after it was laminated because it's easier to run a sheet of paper through the my little laminator. It's a cold press laminator. It's not a heat press one. I have a little video I'd like to put in. We'll go there right. I forgot how I say it. Let's go to that video. I had questions about whether I was still coloring. Yes, I am. In fact, I just started another picture. This is the one that was number one. That was the first picture in the book. This is the one that I showed you that Patty had started. Then I had done this one. Then I did this one. And I did this one. I've been busy with this coloring. That's that done. So what I decided to do is the very first one in the book wasn't wasn't colored, so I'm doing that one. But they're absolutely beautiful. Look at this, all these beautiful colors. They had a lot of colors to where I wouldn't have thought of adding colors. This is the one that I'm working on. <laughs> I forgot what it was. I don't know what you got the video about. Your coloring? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> forgot what I made a you video just on. You did it. I know, but I forgot. I had different ones ask me about my coloring. Well, what do you think of my coloring? It's pretty good, isn't it? I'm loving these markers. I would never be able to do this these pictures with just the colored pencils. Number 7 and number 11, I had to use the same marker, so what I do is I use the colored pencil under number 11 and leave number 7 as plain, and that way it gives me a different shade of green because there's a lot of green in these pictures. Well, I hope you all had a great day. I had a good day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.